Back in Jasper National Park, the team of researchers led by Gord Stenhouse has found one of the bears they were looking for. They need to get the collar back so they can download the data stored inside it. With the press of a button, they trigger the collar to fall off. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to leave this one for a bit. But no one is in a rush to go in and pick it up. They need to be sure the grizzly bear has wandered off a safe distance. Once you go in and you land to go in and, and pick up a collar, recognize that you could have the collar fallen off the bear, but a bear could be maybe 20 or 30 meters away on a kill. And don't forget, grizzly bears will defend the kill. They decide to wait one hour to make sure the bear has cleared out. The helicopter flies back in and they search on foot, ever aware that the bear may not be too far away. Which way, Robin? Yeah, it's sort of pointing this way, Bernie. Heard of. Within minutes, they find the collar. Inside, on a microchip, is an entire summer of information. Back at the office, all the callers are hooked up to computers that download their data. The computer generates a map for each bear. Each dot is a separate location, representing where the bear was every four hours. And here's the active mine site here. This is the, the Lascar Coal Valley mine site. We've got locations around that site. By connecting the dots, the biologists can reconstruct a bear's travel patterns. They can even create a three-dimensional map for the entire summer. Moving towards Edson and then comes back. Stenhouse studies way. the maps of each uh, bear closely. He's eager to see how the bears react to highways, mines, and logged areas. This is a map for a bear named Mary. This is her den site, this red dot here, which is less than, less than a kilometer away from active mine site. This summer, she's been busy in crossing in into Jasper here. National Park, crossing highways dozens of times. She's traversed the entire 30-kilometer wide study area twice. This bear has followed this drainage and moved. I don't know why she moves that far, but one of the things I can tell you is that she's moving out into areas where there certainly is lots of logging and, and, uh, and other activities, oil and gas activity. There's lots of roads. You can see this area down in here where she's in and around cut blocks. Cut and that's blocks, not the only blocks. surprise revealed by Mary's uh, map. Some of her dots overlap with another bear. Blue dots are her position this spring, and uh, we had one of our males, uh, G4, that was with this bear for about a 10-day period right in here. You know, and don't forget, each point has a date, time, and location, so they just, they match perfectly. There could only be one answer, and it's the kind of thing biologists can only hope for. We suspect that, that she made it during that time period. While Stenhouse believes that Mary is probably pregnant now, there's only one way to know for sure. He has to give Mary a pregnancy test.